But we start tonight with California's redistricting commission. It's working to redraw state maps for congressional, legislative, and local district boundaries. The group wants to hear from you to make sure citizens are represented fairly in this process that happens just once a decade. 17's Ashley Zavala spoke with one of the commissioners about how the process is going so far. This is a process that plays out after the census, and in this latest count, California ended up losing a congressional seat. In this state, finalizing district maps is not up to the state legislature, but up to an independent 14-member citizen commission. We are doing the best we can. We are listening. Um, we do have a united front to draw the best li lines that draw the fairest representation for Californians. Over the next few days, the California Redistricting Commission is welcoming public comment on how it should set new congressional, legislative, and local boundaries. Alicia Fernandez is one of the commissioners out of Sacramento. We want to hear from you. Please be involved. Please see our maps because this, this is going to affect us for the next 10 years. The commission will update maps to account for California's lost congressional seat, but commissioners could not say Tuesday which region might be affected. It's very early to say where that's going to be lost because the way we do draw districts they have to be equally populated or as close to that as possible so it's difficult to say if it's going to be in a specific area or maybe it's going to be a combination of some areas we really don't know the commission is set to release a draft map of newly drawn districts by november 15th the map has to be finalized by december 27th we want to be as equitable as possible and we have the criteria and the good thing about the independent commission is that it is independent commission. It's 14 Californians that aren't legislatures, aren't in some sort of um, elected position. And we understand the importance of individuals wanting to have representatives that represent them. The commission has its next meeting this Wednesday starting at 11 a.m. And that's when the public will start to see some of the submissions for potential maps, either regionally or statewide. The commission will be taking public comment this week through Friday. Reporting at the state capitol, Ashley Zavala, 17 News.